10 million dollar in 10 million in 10 million dollar haul woke up this morning with a uh, with a text from Dave that we got about uh, ten thousand dollars in tools stolen so gonna have to go re-up and get some new ones here's our new haul of tools that uh, got stolen it's only gonna be a it's only gonna be a partial of what we needed but it'll get the guys for the next few days so we're doing drywall so we bought a bunch of screw guns and Dave needed a saw so we got that too. Now we need to go go forward, get the cereals on them, get them in my MacBook, and then send them out to the guys. Max is gonna take them up to Sturtevant where the guys can use them tomorrow. No cordless road is it? No, there isn't one. No? No. This is our haul for today for what they needed um, of what actually got stolen. So there, there's some other Hilti and some Festool stuff, and the Festool stuff is really gonna hopefully link us to everything. They're, they're such specialty tools that we think that, you know, if they take them into a pawn shop or something like that, that it's instantly gonna stick out. So Dave is gonna call around tomorrow, around Kenosha Racine area and see what he can come up with. Um, whether they brought it in in one big haul or compartmentalized it, we can at least get a name of somebody because we filed a police report. So, like I said, we're gonna go through these, get them all tagged up, initialed. I'll get them in my MacBook so that I've got the serials for them all. If they ever get stolen again, we'll go through the same process. Um, but right now, just kind of compartmentalize everything and get Dave everything back that he needs. Have we started going through bad tools? Not yet, no. No, because we need to get all the tools. So we can't go through bad ones first. Um, I need to go get a Sharpie, but Dave also needs, um, so we'll send him that extra one. Dave also needs, I don't know, he said it to me. We'll, we'll give him one of the shooters too, so he's got it. I don't know if they got the, I don't know if they got the pin stolen or whatnot else. So let me, let me go grab a marker. It's as fast as they disappear too. What's that, as fast as we buy them? No, like these Makitas, do you know where these came from? Yeah, I bought them. Oh, you bought them. That's fine. Um, here, just move it. Well, I, no, I, I want that. I, okay. Are you sure? No. <laughs> That's exactly right. Eight. Hey, Clown Show, you should have been opening these up. Well, I was waiting for you to tell me what to do. I didn't want to mess up your system. The batteries, I don't really concern myself with because those get swapped out all the time. So you at least want to just make your mark on them. And we're just putting MA. Just that's our company is this initials. Over here, Kevin? Some What's type that? Of hopper? Huh? Some type of hopper system over here. That's not the sprayer you're looking for, right? No, that's the uh, that's the tech sprayer. So, anyways, what we're gonna do? Just put our initials on the battery, and then we mark up the tool and take the serial down. The serial's right there. I'll go ahead and mark this up. This is my seventh one. So I'll go ahead and mark it seven. And try, and try and put as many marks on it as he can. Just so that wouldn't, if they try and take the time to scratch them off, we at least know where we put everything. Five. Okay. We'll put it here too. That'll probably, that'll that'll probably wipe hard. off but we'll see. Then I always like to color in the M if it's a Milwaukee, the M and the A. Just a little bit way to kind of separate ourselves because it might not be something that somebody looks at or, or understands why it's colored in. They just think that... Somebody was bored. And somebody was bored, yeah. So I usually just color in the M and an a, the A and then we know, so. Did you ever think about one of them little like etching pens? Yeah. Dremels. Yeah. Is a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is quick. And and here's the thing: at the end of the day, it doesn't stop somebody from stealing it. So all you can hope to do is just recover it, right? I mean, that's. So we're gonna look into, you know, and Dave was kind of bringing it up too, like, hey, why don't we invest in those tool in the uh, in the tool ticks? But from my understanding, and I could be wrong, um, they only work when they ping your phone so like if you have the app it pings your phone when you're close to it 
Yeah, but if you're not within that range, you're, it's not pinging your phone. That's what I'm getting at. That Now, that's what I've been told that the system, that's how the that system works. That seems crazy to me, though, because like a low jacket and a piece of equipment, that could be, you know, determined from anywhere. Well, that's what I'm getting at, so. This isn't how I wanted to spend my Monday, either. But, like, uh, I don't know where his was. They probably took it out. Well, what, what about over here? No. The plumbers, they drilled the lock. That's what I heard. Yeah, so I wanted to, I wanted to take a shot. Did I show you that picture? Yeah, I wanted to take a shot of it. See, he's looking sledgehammer and he bent his back. But this was all twisted out. Yeah. They Does ours even close now? It was in there was wire. Does ours even close? And they didn't take the wire? And they left all the wire. They took wow. like a tape measure of his and a unibit. Does it, does ours even close? I didn't try. Okay. A little bit on the break in. This is the electricians, and they took our they took our pry bar, and they pried they pried this one open. They actually got it open, and if you can see, they left all of the wire still in here, and and they they just went for strictly tools. So even though they could have got scrap money for the wire. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Do you think they did it with your drill? Because what? Because my my thought is. There's a lot of broken drill bits laying around. Well, that's that was my thing. Is that is that they broke into ours, yeah. and then got his drill to drill out the locks. Yeah. Because they because they pried it because all the other ones are pried open, right? Yeah. So they pried them open because they would have tried tried to drill all the other locks. Yeah, so they must have got to his. So they must have got to his drill, drilled it out, and then and then went for the other ones. Yes. Yeah, the bazooka. The ba oh shit! Who's? He's down. I know, but he had tools left here. I don't know how it really operates. I don't know if it's still good or not. See on this little. How do you make that go up? Okay. Oh, so it still does work. Yeah, it works. They pulled it out of the box. We were just making sure. Yeah. Okay. No, it still works. Where's all the accessories for it? Uh, stole it? Oh, Dave, will you? Um. Yeah. So this was the impact of them just trying to. They actually used our crowbar. Too. Yeah. So they broke into our gang box with our crowbar and just jam that up how, however they did it but like I said Dave had his drills in here so I think they got this open on I can't even get it open now oh what's that oh, oh, oh. And we can't even break into it <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's open. <laughs> so I don't even know if we can fix this. Yeah, you, can. you think so? We could bend it back, but then somebody, I mean, they're still going to be able to put well, jack it. What happened again. to the locks that were on the side of this thing? On locks the side of this side. thing? I had two locks drilled in. Oh, they only put one here. Yeah. We, I was, when I, at wheeling, I told them to put two locks on each side and one on the front. <laughs> yeah. Just for what we had at wheeling. I mean, yeah. We people out. But yep. Okay, get the welder here and we can stack all the these on there. Yep. Well, yeah, we once we take it back to the once we take it back to the uh, storage. storage, yeah. So yeah, Dave, you're this is the that's what you got. That's what you're looking for. Oh, I didn't even know that was in here. Yeah. And this I gave you the cereal. So you've got the picture of the cereal. So Dave's gonna spend the next few hours calling all the pawn shops around the area and see if there was anything that we that we can find um, our only here. Let me see it. Our only kind of solace is Festool. It's such a specialty product, and we have all the cereals for these, and they're not around construction sites, big industrial places like this very much. Um, so this is why we're hoping somebody sells it, or I can find it on Craigslist because they're just they're not usually for resale. Um, so we're hoping to, that this is kind of what we can find. So I'll update you guys as we're going through it. If Dave finds anything, um, if they're smart, they kind of compartmentalized what they stole and 
you know, trickled off a few tools here, a few tools there, uh, because I'm thinking if they show up at one pawn shop with all of our tools that they've got, you're probably looking at, they had maybe a $10 million haul. It was three Hilti shooters, a Simpson shooter, a couple of taping tools, a few Fest tools, six or eight drywall guns that were cordless, Dave's hand tools, grinders, saws, track saws, um, and, a few, and a few other things. So I'm hoping that they pushed it off all into one haul, but my, my guess is if they, like I said, if they were smart, they took a few here, took a few there, took a few there to get a, uh, just a little bit more cash so that it wouldn't raise suspicion. But all of our tools are marked, we have all the cereals for them, and we're gonna try and find them.